in time for a little uh, post-credit sequence. Although, technically, this is just way back in time. That's right, back in Chapter 2. Remember that little tournament that I didn't do? Well, here we are to do it. Uh, there is no individual tournament system here. Uh, Dugan and Emila won't have their own system. And uh, Zach's along for the ride, because my only options are Zach and Vern. And I just, you know... Vern actually got a chapter where I brought him to hang out for a little bit. Uh, Zach didn't, so... Zach's here. Um, all right. The NPCs are slightly different, I believe, uh, in this area, so... Uh, I wonder where they get the monsters from. And who are they, anyway? Who does the getting of the monsters? Adventurers or something? Though there's only one tournament open at the moment, there'll probably be others in later chapters. Yes, he is correct. I want to be a trilobite when I grow up. You always gotta reach for the stars, you know? Uh, we came here from the surface to kill some stuffs. It's gonna be fun. My boyfriend here is such a criminal. Such a bad boy. He treats me like dirt and I love it. That's how a real man should be. Well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that at all. Alright. Uh, the guards probably just say they're guards. I am a trying to make guard! We are guarding this door for some reason! Yes. Alright. Welcome to the arena. Here you can participate in tournaments, where you battle hordes of monsters and maybe other adventurers in our special battle cave to win fabulous prizes. Are you interested? Well, okay. Excellent, sir. Excellent. Without further ado, let the tournament begin, if you'll kindly proceed to the battle cave. And, yes, without further ado, begin round one. Just like before, there will be a... There will be a um, series of fights up to, I believe, 10, just like the main tournament last time. They're all of our familiar favorites from back in the day, like Fume Rats and Green Mantids. Green Mantids are somehow faster than... No, oh, they're tied with Zack. All right. Sure. To be fair, Zack is still only level 12. I did do some grinding stuff, so everyone has a lot of the skills Pretty much every skill I can cram onto them right now. Basically, they're just missing the, um... The magic one. You know? Uh, magic resist fire. That's the only one they're really missing. Because I didn't feel like, uh... It's very hard to grind magic in this part of the game. Uh... Zap. Yep. So, uh, not quite as ludicrously overpowered as the last time I was in a tournament, but, uh, yeah. So anyway, the, uh, the way to access this tournament, <clears throat> in the first place, is you need to kill some zombies that are hanging around Canonia. One of them drops a key. This went to round two against a bunch of wasp types. Um, the other key is found, uh... Social Fox's Tomb. I mean, I've, I've already gotten those. The only one I didn't get in my time was the, uh... One from the zombies in Canonia. Huh. Well, got two poisoned people. Um... Actually, I'll try to use this as a sort of breather round to heal the poison. Blade P doesn't poison much. Yeah. Uh, you just preserve for the XP. You can just slack him. Get some mana back, and we get rid of that poison from Dugan, and Dugan will finish it off. Remember Dugan? How lovely. So, uh, I need to say, Dugan has the Social Fox Sword. The Burial Sword. Actually, is that the Social Fox Sword? I thought the Social Fox Sword was the, fo the, the Wolf Blade or Fox Blade, whatever that was called. Anyway, a couple of balloons and a couple of growls. Let's pop the balloons. Because they have status effects, maybe. Ooh. The familiar sight of Emila being unable to finish enemies off. That's fine. 
Marduk still wielding his trusty Keyblade. Again, Vern is the other option, just in case that's more your speed. Uh, Vern would probably be going last at all times. <clears throat> he would hit probably about the same as Zack, which is why Zack's here. Also, using his Trilobite weapon he gets from this area. Because uh, I don't really care to uh, have him use his old Rinky Dink item here. Might as well be the best that he can be. Phages don't take magic damage, right? Yeah, because they have a lot of magic defense. So, Emila is just going to have to try whacking them. Nice. A lot less healing going on for our team in the early days. Marduk is, and items are our only healing methods. That said, uh, I'm basically at endgame power level. Because the only thing, uh... Don't have really is is stuff you get from Morik's battleship. Then if you go to the Morik's battleship, you can't go here because that's a point of no return, obviously. Yeah. So we're just gonna make a quick work on our way down the line. Oh, zombies! Look, an assortment of undead. This is where Vern would be very happy to be a part of the team. Unfortunately for him, he's not here, and Zach's here. Because that's cool. Um, no, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just burn him. Oh, or not. Remember when Emla couldn't kill anything? Because <laughs> that's happening again. <laughs> Goodness. And Drown Corpse gets off one last attack before he goes down, and he's down. Great. Round six. Couple of bats, couple of bruises. Now you see, I could, you know, I could also do another bonus thing where I do all of the other um, people and in their individual tournament fights, like Zack here. However, <laughs> uh, my counterpoint to that is no. Because leveling six people up, six people up, to level like 30, 35, that's a bit much. And to get all their corresponding skills, no. It's too much. It's too much effort, too much hassle for uh, nothing I really care about. I did the four I do care about. There's the poor goblin, remember that? How I didn't see that in the first go round? Well, now it's dead. Goodbye. Uh, so, yeah, the goblin posse. It's funny how you can tell which ones are the really early game ones and which one came later. <laughs> Fun Goblin, despite being level 11, only has 44 HP. Hobgoblin the, is the latest one with the most health, you know? Although, uh, poor Goblin, I think, had more health than that. The dreaded miss! It's still here. It haunts me to this day. Alright. Spore Tackle. Zack's asleep. Zack does not have insomnia. That's fine. Emma can't even kill a fun goblin with an auto attack. Regular attack. It's not exactly automatic here, now is it? Round 8. We're getting on. A squad of drill lions. Honestly, the best reason why Zack... Why you should have Zack over Vern, if there is an argument, is that Zack's very fast, can go first, and kill things before you get hit. Alright, Marduk, do you want to try waking up? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Progressing nicely. Round 9! Spectres! Spectres are scary! Um, alright. What do Spectres get hurt by? Fire, air, or light. Don't have light. Do a fire and air. So let's uh, zap him. Wow, she actually killed one. Crazy. 
unfortunately, uh, that's the end of it all. Oh, wait. Dugan can hit it, because his sword is light-type. The only question is how much damage will he actually do? Not quite enough. A good effort. Not quite enough. Uh, well, zap. Now, I'm zapping things over burning things mostly because, uh... Emla has a, a air wand or whatever equip, which empowers air element attacks. Round 10 against the bandit and the adventurer we spoke to earlier. Wow, we missed out on fighting them, uh, the adventurer, before. A ring of spirit plus two, wow. Otherwise, a bunch of kind of standard equipment. No weaknesses, has a natural resistance to water and gets the 30 uh, earth resistance from the green rope. These are items you can, you too can buy in Trilobite Town. And the bandit comes equipped with a bunch of high-level gear. Is it high-level? Not really. <laughs> bandit leather. It's nice. All right. Oh, air pendant. Wait, hold up. That's an item that not even I have access to way far in the future. <laughs> All right. Good for him. All right. So enough of that. Let's just hit him with a, uh, ram... Crescendo Slash. Huh. Oh, I just re- Oh, don't do that. Um... I just realized my opponents are now about equal to my levels. Huh. Interesting. An adventurer casts shield. Mardik kills Bandit. No, not quite. Dugan kills Bandit. There he goes. And now, the adventurer. Um... Yeah. Oh, two life! And a big cure. But you know what? You can't out-heal four of us. She's out-healing four of us. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so from here on, the enemies may now be equal or higher level than us. Round 11 out of, I believe, 20. Oh no, that was just the mid, mini boss fight, I guess. So we're back down to level 12s. Poison. Good. Uh, just, just zap him. Get him out of my face. We'll deal with the poison later. Yeah. Just, I, I, I don't want to get poisoned. No more poison. Round 12. Balloons. Lots of balloons. 99 green ones. Wait. Uh, actually, now that I think about it, balloons don't really poison you or anything. So they're not even that bad. Let's deal with that poison. Another thing to note about this kind of earlier area is that Marduk doesn't have a lot of MP because he doesn't have access to a lot of his junk. Like all those spirit boosting things he had before. Hmm. And Amala doesn't have access to the... No one has access to any of the healing, you know, uh, skills from later on. A couple of trilobite warriors... Trilobites, not warriors, trilobites. And some fish. This is a random encounter in the caves leading up to this place. We're just fighting them in the middle of a tournament. Because why not? One lived. I will use this opportunity to heal. And finish him. Very good. Very textbook. Round 14. Some more undead in the news. We're getting kind of top crazy. We're flipping around. Don't know really what I'm saying at this point. Alright, zombie's dead. I'm starting to think maybe I should worry about my mana, but we'll deal with that later. Just the chrysophage, and I should have known better. Heals off light. And magic is useless. For 
forever and always. And finally, it goes down. Round 15. Another kind of uh, milestone fight. It's a rematch against the locksmith. Level 15. He's got his keyblade, a bunch of armor. Um, still weak to the standard uh, undead weaknesses. But he does have a lot of health. We will have to burn him down. Yuck. Okay. That's fine. Um, remove tank does not get rid of that. Well, motion potion here. Made sure to buy some before the tournament. Uh, break his barrier so I can set up for future big damage. He's kind of being mean at this point. Um, uh, crescendo finish. Best to keep the status elements off us for future fights. And here comes a big attack. Boom. Only 600. Alright. He's still the same pain in the junk he's ever been. Good thing uh, Zack doesn't need to speak. In fact, he prefers not to. Uh, yeah, let's just hit him. Can heal later. Do can be the big hero. Thank you. That's a mini boss down. Round 16. A zombie monster and an abomination. Our good friends from uh, Social Fox's tomb. Unfortunately, they aren't much of a match for us. No, sir. No, sir. Round 17. Some phantoms. I think we missed fighting them before. A lot of defense. Fire, air, and light weaknesses. Completely resistant to water, earth, absorb dark, and aether. Mm, tough customers. Can't be status affected. I'm wondering how Zack lost his mana when he doesn't use mana. Probably the locksmith. Well, uh, let's kill abominations. And then we zap phantom. Yep. Phantom attacks count as ether. Mardic must remain vigilant and heal people when necessary. Oh, wow. The big defense coming from the Phantom means you can't really hurt them with physical attacks. Even with Dugan's plus 30% attack damage thing. Alright, moving on. An Onyx Ring, how lovely. Can't actually use it here. Zombie Warrior. It's just a tough customer. Two gauntlets, huh? Let's hit him! Critical hit for only 385. He is a big boy. Mm. And... Hits pretty good. He hits pretty good. We do not hit him very good. And he's almost dead. He will die next... Oh, thought he would die next turn. And with that, Emla somehow takes the lead in terms of levels. Well, wow. A bunch of zombie monsters. But a critical makes them nothing to worry about. And now Mardix level 17 and Dugan's level 17. So going into the final battle, we got our victory music. But round 20, and what's this? It's the World Saviors! 
Aha! I see that the final round is to be a mere breeze, for we are up against these puny little soldiers again, saviors. This battle shall be just as effortless as the last time we fought. We may as well give ourselves haircuts during battle. We'll be putting so little effort into fighting you. But didn't they kill us last time? Nein! That just must be some deranged fantasy dream thing in your dozy little head, my dear, where the laws of reality no longer make sense, for we are the world's saviors. It is not possible for us to lose. Give us the base that you have, puny soldiers, and it may just be give us a bit of a warm-up as we pummel you to the ground as if you were a party of old women who had decided one day while meeting together to go adventuring, but it turned out that they weren't very good at it. <laughs> old women. We'll show you who's an old woman, and we'll also win! Alright. And the final battle of Chapter 2, more or less. The bonus battle boss fight time is against the World Saviors, coming in at an average of level 12. <laughs> and a half or a third, what, a fourth? You know, math, that thing? Anyway. Uh, Bernard is still the highest guy, because he was the former hero, you know. Well, hero loosely. Kind of a bad guy when you think about it. Thanks to his fire pen, he's weak to water. Yes. Alia is, you know, weak to earth because of her water pendant. Venny, weak to big weakness to fire because of his air pendant. And Bartolio, slightly weak to dark. But who cares? They're all basically the same as we fought them before back in the day. But, um, yeah. They might have slightly improved gear. But who really cares? The biggest challenge here is that they uh, come in at the end of a big tournament rush. Uh, I've already forgotten who's weak to air. No one? Anyone? No one. No one's weak to air. So, Zack can't really take advantage of his air, but he can... Crescent. No! I was supposed to hit Alia. No! No! Alright. Alright, alright, alright. We... Fire Venny. Glaciate. That's a fairly powerful water based move. I must heal. Yeah, the biggest challenge here is simply you fight these guys at the end of a long, grueling battle. That's it. Oh, my silly brain. Elia, weak to Earth. We have Earth. Goodbye, Elia. One shot. Actually, aren't uh, these might be the same levels that they had before? I don't. Know, they might just have better gear, and that's it. Huh. <laughs> um. All right. So Venny will go down here. Bernard still coming with the big fire attacks. Now I ref let's see if Bernard does some things. I don't think he does it in this game. No. No, he doesn't do anything in this game. And Bartolio, you're all alone. What will you do? Oh yeah, a vengeance. That's what he does. He berserks. But he will not live to see the fruits of his labor. You know what? Just because. I'll hit him with an earth. Because I didn't want Amelia to get to kill. Alright, Marduk. There it is. There it is. The big final bonus battle of chapter 2. That I skipped before. Damn you, puny soldiers! This just must have been one of those unwinnable plot battles! Annoying! But that means that next time we fight, we will have to win! Congratulations, fighter! You have won the tournament, apparently! Here, have a prize! Also, get out of here! Alright. Alright. And for that, we get the champion sword number one. A finely crafted sword awarded to the champion of the arena. It serves as a decorative trophy and powerful weapon with a high crit chance. And indeed it does. 10% crit chance gives you access to the plus 30% damage uh, modifier. So Marta could be hacking and slashing like with the best of them all the way in chapter th 2. Um, let's just, just put that on. It's equivalent to the uh, burial sword you get for against uh, basically the bonus bosses, right? Bonus boss, uh, big dragon gives you burial sword. Bonus boss, world saviors at the end of a tournament give you champion sword. You know? Yeah, great, lovely. Clerk, anything else? The tournament's over now. There was only one, so you can't compete anymore. Go away. Oh, all right. I guess so. Did 
these guys have anything new to say after we beat them? No? Okay. All right. Well, that's that's that then. That's everything. Well, not everything, obviously. I, I did mention those survival tournaments that I'm not doing because uh, do, do you really want me to sit there and level Mariara up from level 10 to 30? No. Well, maybe you do, but I don't. And I have nothing against him. Imagine me raising Donovan. No. All right. So, um... That's the end of Marduk, uh, for me. Um, as for the next thing, it'll probably be something completely different. So, uh, same bat time, same bat place. Only I'm not a bat, so just same time, same place. Goodbye!